All right, so adding other content could involve adding files. They're typically PDFs or maybe they're an MP4 or a movie for a video. So those are the two common ones that I've loaded, which would be either videos or PDFs, uh, worksheets and things that students need to complete. So let's go to our Schoology course. Here's the Schoology 101. Um, if I'm gonna go into course information. What I wanna show you first is that if you wanted to have a file kind of within the description of the folder, you are not able to put that there like a link. So there are still many other places that you can put a file. So I'm gonna add a little calendar for our school district here. So I'm gonna add file link external tool again. Then I'm gonna click on file instead this time. And then I'm gonna go find the file. And like I said, I'm just gonna do our, uh, add, it's called an at a glance calendar. Here we go, I'm gonna hit open or click on the open. Again, you can copy to other courses and individually assign or publish or unpublish again and click add. And let me show you what it looks like so that if you wanted to, again, if you wanna edit it, edit it or unpublish, etc. But let me open it so you can see the difference with a PDF. So what happens is when it loads inside of here, you've got almost a window that's gonna look a lot like when you grade assignments. So you can print, you can download, you can expand it, which is just making it full screen. And this is what the students would be able to do with that. So they can you know, expand it full screen and take a look at it. They could print it, they can um, download it. So they've got lots of options here. All right, let me show you that in updates, you can also put a file. You're gonna be looking for the little page upon page kind of icon right here where it says file. So it's the same thing, although this one just goes directly to your um, computer. And last but not least, there are a few other places that you can do this. You can, and I'll talk about this in a separate video. If you go add materials and you wanna add an assignment, which would be common, a common place for you to put a file that you might be want students to print and, and then hand write on. So here it is, file right there, but I'm gonna make a separate video on making assignments, so I'm not gonna uh, do that yet. The other place you can do is you can add it with what's called events. So events are just, um, either you don't want the, something the students to turn in and grade, you just want it out there for them. So you can put a title here. Um, so I'm just gonna put uh, calendar, and I'm just gonna link here, the same thing again. Uh, let's see if I can find it in the recents. It's a lot easier, there it is. And I'm gonna have open, and then this is different. I'm gonna make a separate video again on making events and what, what they are and how they're different. So I'm just gonna hit create right now because I'll make a separate video on this. When I have extra study sessions or when I would, for my chemistry club, we would use this a lot. So let me show you what it looks like here just so you can see where that PDF goes. And like I said, I'm making a separate video on events, so it looks very different. It's more like you're having, you know, a gathering, which we probably can't do right now with, uh, with that. So you can um, edit this at this point, and so you sh I'll show you here again. Um, there's the PDF, and then when I change it to where you can RSVP, and this is a separate video, uh, what that looks like. You can do view, which means it's just the same thing as before, but it opens it up in another window. And then last but not least, um, is you can actually just click on it and it'll download it. So if I click on the, the file there, it'll download it. And then the other choice was it's still loading here. So it loads it in a separate uh, window and it, sometimes it can take some time. This is almost what it's like when you have to grade assignments, you have to wait for them to load. All right, so that's it. I hope that helps you kind of understand where you can put files in all the different places. Um, typically, you're going to put it in a folder or you'll probably put it as an assignment. So I hope that helped and gets you to add some content to your Schoology page.